From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni with a look at some of the day's top stories. First in New Haven, a baby was discovered in a dumpster alive. Thankfully, officers responded here to the Presidential Village Gardens on Dixwell Avenue around 2 o'clock on Monday. The eight-month-old baby girl was found by maintenance workers. Police say they have located and they are talking with the child's mom. The baby is being treated at the hospital. Trinity College says its classes will remain online until at least Friday after coronavirus cases on the Hartford campus nearly doubled. The school says right now there are 45 active cases. The majority of new cases affect clusters of students who live in off campus housing. On campus students are being urged to stay in their residence halls. In Waterbury, the Columbus Day holiday is the center of controversy. You may recall vandals damaged the Columbus statue over the summer, removing its head right there. Now, the bigger issue is the future of the statue. The Greater Waterbury NAACP held a silent stand in protesting the presence of a statue they believe represents racist acts and crimes. On Election Day in November, Waterbury residents will be the ones to vote on a referendum about whether the statue should stay in its current location. In New Haven, while the Christopher Columbus statue no longer stands above New Haven's Worcester Square Park, members of several Italian American groups gathered to place a wreath at the base. The city took down the statue over the summer after protesters argued it served as a painful reminder of Columbus's treatment of indigenous people. All right, after a lull in the rain, we've got more that's going to be overspreading southern New England through the overnight time frame as well as throughout the day Tuesday. The rain periods of it could be heavy at times. Can't rule out a couple of rumbles of thunder winding down as we head toward the Tuesday evening commute. We could see half an inch to an inch of rain, perhaps some locally higher amounts. And with the clouds in the rain, we're expecting for tomorrow highs between 55 and 60 inland, between 60 and 65 along the 95 corridor. Then we've got some brighter, warmer weather on tap through the middle part of the week near 70 on Wednesday, 75 or forecast high for Thursday. Then another storm system arrives as we close out the week. Chances for rain increase by Friday afternoon could linger into Saturday morning, clearing thereafter. Sunday looking to be the better of the two weekend days. Highs in the low 60s with ample sunshine. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.